Welcome to QQ Catalyst. This video is an overview on how to set up a producer commission role. You can set up a producer commission. So if we come in here and we choose our carrier, and we'll go ahead and choose our producer. In our agency commission. Now with the producer you can choose either to have your agent your producers commission calculated based on what the agency makes off the policy or based on the premium and fees. The filters above work the same as we just saw with the agency commission. You're going you can be as specific as selecting a particular carrier, a particular line of business, a subline, those all um, are the same. We also have promotionals here as well. So if you're if during a specific period of time you're paying your producer maybe a, a higher commission percentage, um, if they write business with New England Insurance, and in which case in this particular example I'm choosing any line, and maybe for the month of uh, we can say April, we're going to give them maybe 70 percent commission on that particular um, with that particular carrier. So now if I have a standard commission that maybe it can even be for any line of business with any carrier. Um, what happens with that is if when New England, when they do write a policy with New England, this particular promotion will override that just for the month of April. I'm going to click on save. All right, so now let's take a look at some other uh, ways of setting up, uh, different ways of setting up your producer's commission rules. So let's go ahead and copy this commission onto a new commission rule. Uh, so again, I can go down the filters and make this as specific as I want to with a new specific rule. But in this case, we're going to take off our option or remove the option for promotional. We have policy source as an option. So if I needed to create uh, this commission rule based on an advertising tool or a policy source of business that I have saved within my location preferences in QQ Catalyst, I can set this commission rule only to apply when that particular source of business is used to uh, bind coverage or purchase a uh, policy. Um, when it comes to producer types, we can s set up our producer's commission to be on an individual basis, but we also have two other options that are available as well. So we have the option to set up our producer's commissions on an individual uh, basis, a group individual basis, which means that there are multiple producers involved in writing a, a policy for a specific line of business, for example, um, in which case each producer will need to be listed on that policy and that commission rule will apply depending on how you set up this commission rule here within um, this section. So group individual is basically each producer will receive their percentage uh, based on when you enter here in this section. So we'll choose group individual and we'll choose a few um, We'll go ahead and choose two producers to share commission on a particular, it could be a particular line of business, it could be with a specific carrier. Um, it can be based on the agency, uh, what the agency makes off the policy, or it could be based on the premium plus fees. And then at the bottom, you're going to enter the percentage that each producer will receive. So if it's equally 50%, or if they're going to share that 50%, then you're going to give them 25%. Now, with producer commission percentages, I mean, or commission rules, you can either set them up as a percentage or a flat dollar amount as well. And then um, we'll go ahead and add that. And we're going to click on save. So that's one way of doing that. Now, I can copy this yet again onto another commission rule. 
and this time we can select let's say workers comp and we'll go ahead and change this to split commission. We'll leave the same producers names but in this case when they write a workers comp policy with New England Insurance Company this is going to be a group split commission which means that each producer will receive a um, a share of what the agency makes um, off that policy so they're not going to share um, the total or the based on what the agency makes off the policy but a portion of what the agency makes off the policy so here in the commission amount also can be set as a percentage and a dollar and then we're going to enter uh, the percentage that they're going to um, share in what the agency makes off the policy. So it's not going to be the typical 100% of what the agency makes off the policy, but rather 50%. And then you're going to enter the producer split. So in this case, we'll leave it at 25% for each one and click on Save. So once you've done that, you have all your commission rules set up.